Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I've just decided to spontaneously make a video because I'm just literally about to go in the gym and um, it just reminded me of how terrified I used to be to go to the gym um, when I had really bad health anxiety over my heart. So I just thought I would do like a quick video because I've completely overcome it now and it's just like a really good feeling. Um, so, you know, a lot of people with health anxiety, I, I feel like there's kind of a divide. Either you're worried about you know, cancer, or you're worried about your heart, or there's like obviously ALS and things like that as well. But a lot of people do worry about their heart and a lot of people worry and get scared to exercise and um, go to the gym or go jogging because they're scared that, you know, their heart's going to give out and they're going to just kind of have a heart attack and just drop dead there and then. And, it, you know, the, this is, the anxiety is real. I've, uh, I've experienced it myself. So with me, it all began kind of um, a couple of years ago when I was getting, I was getting palpitations. Um, obviously, I was very anxious at the time, but I, I thought there was something wrong with my heart. I was having really bad palpitations that I was feeling like in my neck and um, I was getting chest pain um, and then I was getting um, left arm pain. So, of course, you know, I thought that um, there was something seriously wrong with my heart um, and the palpitations were getting worse and worse and worse. And I was really scared to do anything really because i was finding that when i was like picking up my daughter i was getting the palpitation so i associated that with you know my heart when my heart was kind of under strain that you know i was getting these palpitations so anyway i ended up getting referred to cardiology not because the doctor was worried mostly because i just demanded it because i was so convinced that there was something you know wrong with my heart and i got referred to him but it was going to take a while so in the meantime, um, I paid to get a, a, a private EEG, um, sorry, ECG, and um, that came back um, normal, uh, although they could see a couple of ectopic beats. So, um, and the cardiologist that I saw was like a really, you know, well-respected cardiologist. And he was like, look, there's nothing wrong with your heart. Like he said, basically that all of the major, like dangerous arrhythmias will come up on an ECG. Um, because some people will say, some people with health anxiety about their heart will say, you know, yeah, but not all arrhythmias come up. But from what I've read and from what this cardiologist was saying, like the major scary, life-threatening ones that are going to, you know, kind of uh, kill you like that will come up. Um, it's kind of like the more minor problems that sometimes don't come up, but they're not usually the ones that are going to cause you immediate harm. So I still wasn't satisfied anyway. So I ended up... Um, go into my referral um, and I had uh, loads of loads of tests on my heart and everything came back completely fine and um, they could see the palpitations they could see the ectopic beats but it was all completely benign like it was all very just they weren't bothered you know they didn't even want to do any further testing they were like no there's nothing wrong like you know we're not worried about you at all um although even even though that reassured me a little bit I was still very very scared to exercise and I remember when my dad said to me like oh why don't why don't we start going jogging and I really wanted to jog because I wanted to get back into it but I was just too scared and um of course if you have that feeling of like being anxious before you go for your run you're gonna get palpitations and that's what was happening to me I was I was going for a jog I was going very slowly but my you know my heart would be beating fast I could I could feel the palpitations and I was getting freaked out because I was thinking my heart is is giving up on me but it wasn't it was just I was mega anxious because I was kind of convincing myself that you know something altered was going to happen so of course I was going to get palpitations like looking back now it's like so obvious but you know when I was in that headspace it was it was the the it was real and terrifying and um it was a really worrying thing because I'd, I'd never had um, anxiety over my heart. For me, it was all cancers. And I always like kind of felt like, oh, I don't worry about my heart because, you know, I don't know why. I don't really know why I didn't worry, but I've never really been scared of things that can, like, and it sounds really morbid, but I've never been scared about things that can kill me instantly, like a car crash or a heart attack. I'm more worried about prolonged suffering and things like that. Um, so I was quite shocked when I did get anxiety over my heart, but it was inevitable. I think everybody with health anxiety at some point is going to get anxious about their heart. And yeah, um, I was very anxious over it for probably about two months. Um, and I didn't really, you know, I, I really struggled doing certain things um, was constantly worried. But eventually I, you know, just gradually built up. I, I was just like walking faster and I just reminded myself and just told myself, you know, you, you've had all these tests done, 
you know, you're an anxious person, you're going to get palpitations. Um, you've had a couple of EEGs now, um, you know, and I just really had to talk myself out of it every time. Just like, I was like, sure, I'll come on, you can do this. And I just gradually built, built myself up. Like I started just like really gentle walks um, to the point then where, you know, I started to actually jog and yeah. And then before I knew it, like a week had gone by and I hadn't had any palpitations. And then I think that maybe I started like worrying about something else. I don't know. Um, but something took my mind off it. Probably I was worried about something else. You find that with health anxiety, we can be so scared about one thing and then we'll get other symptoms. And then the thing we were worried about, we're, just, we're like, oh, where did that go? So yeah, I did. I did go through that and it's not nice. Um, and a lot of people that I've spoken to, you know, that have health anxiety about the heart will just tell me how terrified they are to exercise. And it, that sucks because we know that exercise is so great for our mental health. So it's just, it's an awful thing that, you know, we feel like we can't, you know, we can't exercise and we can't do these things that we know are going to help. Um, so yeah, it, it does really suck. But um, just try, you know, if you've gone and you've had all the tests and it's all come back absolutely fine, um and you know you you've seen like a, a cardiologist and you've had the eeg and everything's normal i think there's got to be a point in time where you just think right okay i'm gonna exercise and like i said just start really really slow um don't overdo it and just build up to it you know just 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 take it easy um that's what i did and like now i'm at a point now where i'll just completely run and run a machine and i i don't worry at all so anyways i've just realized i'm gonna be late for the gym so um i'm gonna go now but um let me know in the comments if anyone else has experienced this because i imagine that loads of people have because i've spoken to people about it before um and i will see you guys on my next video bye